got to talk about we got to talk about this man this has been um kind of a trending talk topic in the street circles of the internet streets is is snoopy badass snoopy badass snoopy badass man an old case popped up on the internet it's called the people versus doster back in 2005 uh doster committed a homicide and snoopy badass witnessed it no doubt no doubt did you get a chance to read over doster's appeal from this was a 2005 case his appeal is 2008 and it's all over the internet did right. you read it no doubt every word what did you think about it um i thought it was what it was you know um it was it was it was you couldn't deny what was going on you know it was a lot of things in there that i was just like why why would you do that why would you you know, it was a lot of, as a gangster, man, it was just a lot of shit that I just didn't believe that, you know, motherfuckers did. You know what I mean? You know, you see somebody get shot and you just want to pull over and you see somebody get shot in the head that you know. And you just pull over and want to help the guy. I mean, the guy's dead. You know what I mean? But it was a lot of discrepancies in there. The guy was fighting his appeal. So the paperwork came out. A lot of people don't know that a lot of times you can get the pa paperwork a lot more easier when the defendant files an appeal. And uh, it's readily available on, on on websites, you know. But that was a crazy case, man. And one of the reasons why it's, it's readily available because he went to trial. No doubt. And no whenever doubt. you go to trial, everything comes to light. No doubt. Or like you say, or file that appeal, you know what I mean? It's, it's going to come to light, you know. Now, Snoopy Badass went on with a rebuttal. And that was even more crazier than the case itself. Well, before we talk about the rebuttal, let's talk a little bit about the case because um, this was a case that happened in Moreno Valley. This is not a Compton case. Right. This is before he was from Hollywood Piru. No doubt. And at the time of this case, uh, I believe he was uh, Snoopy Badass. Melvin Banks is his name, was already 20 years old. No doubt. So that means that... He became a Hollywood Piru when he was what, 22, 23, 24, which is no doubt. which is a whole nother topic. Right, right, but right. that's another interesting situation. All right, so so Damien Do Doster, D-O-S-T-E-R, um, he he shoots someone at a In N Out Burger, and Snoopy Badass, Melvin Banks, and another guy see it. Right. They pull up. Um and then one Snoopy Badass's friend gets shot and killed. Right. In the process of pulling up on this killing. Right. And um, at some point, Snoopy made a statement, like, immediately. Yes, he said he ran back to the house to get the family. He get the family. He says the family said that, man, you have to go back and say something. Why? The man is dead. What, what do I have to go say? No way in the world I would have went back and said nothing. I don't care if this was my best friend, my cousin, my uncle. It's nothing for me to go back and say he's dead. It's nothing to go back and say if he was alive. But I'm just saying, you know, dead It's really nothing to go back to say. You know what I mean? And uh, that's where he made his mistake. He went back. He made a statement. He claims that he made a false statements when he went back to make a statement. You know, one of his points was that, um, you know, I said the guy jumped out the bushes. If you go back and look at the crime scene, it wasn't no bushes in sight. I don't care if you say he jumped out of a helicopter. You acknowledge that he shot your boy. You know what I mean? So you're leaving all that part out. You know, like I say, man, Alex, I can go on for this shit and talk about this case for an hour flat myself with all the discrepancies from all angles. But, yeah, man, you know, he saw the guy. He went back and made a statement, and uh, it was crazy. Well, actually, I, I think I, I characterized it wrong. Do Doster and two of his friends were at in and out and someone killed one of Doster's friends, some, an unknown person from, what I, from the way I read it. And then Doster ended up killing Snoopy Badass's friend because he kind of thought these two guys may have been involved, but they just pulled up after the fact. Right. So one of Doster's friends got killed um, after a verbal argument in the In-N-Out parking lot with a person. And then um, Doster ends up shooting and killing Snoopy Badass's friend. Right. Um, Worm. Yeah. Worm, who we, who we called Worm. But if you look up the paperwork, this, um, you know, you could look this up all over the Internet. It's People vs. Doster, um, 2000, November 10th, 2008. And it is, it is an appeal because I guess Doster felt that he had action at maybe a manslaughter or self-defense because he didn't know what Snoopy Badass and his friend were doing, pulling right, up right. on them. No doubt. After his friend just got killed. But they gave him, uh, I think they maxed him out, right, Doster? Yeah, I think they gave him forty to life. Or yeah, something. yeah. So let's let's go into um, Snoopy Badass's um, 
what did you call it? His rebuttal? Oh, man, you know. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, um, I got a little bit of it here. Um, I guess what we can do is we can play it, and then when, when you want me to pause it, we'll pause it, and then we'll talk about it because – he really thinks he didn't. He did no telling, right? Well, you know what? That was one of the things that I was thinking about. I, I took all that into consideration, and it was funny how he was. He was like really serious and adamant that he wasn't telling, you know. But he's not the only one. I, I'm starting to see more and more people. This is a pattern, right? <laughs> really don't believe they tell it. You yeah. know what I mean? And I'm like, okay, then let's get started. All right, here we go. We uh, nigga. <laughs> Y'all about to be mad as a motherfucker, nigga, because y'all lost this one too, my nigga. You feel what I'm saying? I can't believe that y'all even had the motherfucking audacity, my nigga, to put his bullshit ass case up, nigga, and try to call the gangster a rat, nigga. Let me, let me break something down to y'all, my nigga. For one, you can't tell on the nigga that told on his motherfucking self, my nigga. It just don't fucking happen, nigga. It the two can, we, can we talk about that? No doubt. You can't tell on someone that's already telling. Now, my my position is it doesn't matter how many other people are telling, even if the person that is the focus of the investigation is telling too, you're still participating in the telling. No doubt. And some, some people that tell believe like, oh no, that they, they were already being told on. So my telling doesn't really matter because the telling was already told. So that kind of erases my telling. Right. And right? that's the ideology that, I mean, it wasn't, what, a minute into the 30 seconds into the conversation that we caught that that fast, you know. So you're right. Absolutely right. And it's kind of the same thing that um, Cowboy Herman Douglas from 60s kind of said. He's like, look, the murder is all on camera. I don't need to, I don't need to say what happened, who did what. It's already on camera. But by you telling you're corroborating what's on camera making the point stronger for who the prosecution, the prosecution right plus you're breaking the rules that set forth in the gang that you you know promise to abide by and live by yeah all right let, let's um let's get back to snoopy badass the two don't mix my nigga also you can't tell on a nigga that got on a stand and told on his motherfucking self Feel what I'm saying? The link to the whole case is in this motherfucking description. So y'all can go and see what I'm saying. And it's going to back everything that I'm about to tell y'all, my nigga. My nigga, I ain't never told on a nigga in my motherfucking life, my nigga. I ain't never, nigga, went to go break a law with a nigga and told on a nigga. I was in jail on my own attempted murder, nigga. I didn't tell on my co-defendant. You feel what I'm saying? But since y'all want to put a little piece of the paperwork up, my nigga... I'm going to let everybody see the whole link to the paperwork, and I'm going to tell y'all exactly what happened, and y'all can go put my story with what's in the paperwork. And I'm going to show y'all that these bitch-ass niggas is haters, and they motherfucking envious, my nigga, of a nigga making it, my nigga. Dead homies. And after this, nigga, the road going up, my nigga. Straight the fuck up. Now, let me break this shit down. For one, the nigga that I was with that was killed, this is a nigga that I went to school with, my nigga. You feel what I'm saying? He wasn't a gangbanger. He was a square nigga. You feel me? Me and him, we used to smoke weed and fuck bitches together, my nigga. This is my nigga Worm. Rest in peace, homie. You feel what I'm saying? One day the nigga... Okay, so Worm, who he's talking about in the paperwork, his name is Mabins. Mabins and Banks approached Garrett's body. Garrett was the guy that got killed that was with Doster. Right. So Mabins, a.k.a. Worm, and Banks, a.k.a. Snoopy Badass, they approached... And I guess I guess they knew Garrett who got killed. Right. So they was like, "Oh shoot, this guy got killed." They just pulled up, and 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 boys and girls, when somebody gets shot and someone's killed, or you think they're killed, or they're getting shot up, and you see it, stay away. Stay right. Stay away, man. If you're across the street, stay across the street. In fact, do what my dad used to tell me: turn around and go the other way. No doubt. But the Snoopy Badass and Worm decided to pull right up to the body. Right up. Yeah. And I guess that's what caused um, Doster to get um, startled, maybe. Right, right, right. And he killed Mabins, a.k.a. Worm, who Snoopy Badass is talking about, right? No doubt. So, um, all right, let me play one more part. Called me up, right? When the nigga called me up, he called, he said, hey, man, I got some bitches, homie. You feel what I'm saying? You want to uh, you wanna come fuck with me with some bitches? I said, hell yeah, nigga, for sure. Let's go. So I hop in the whip with the nigga. When I hop in the whip with the nigga, we rolling down motherfucking a street called Hemlock in Reno Valley, my nigga. When we rolling by Hemlock, Worm is driving. In the paperwork, it says I'm driving. 
Hey, hit, Worm family can tell you. I didn't even have a car at the time, my nigga. Worm had just got a car because he was working at Home Depot, my nigga. Feel me? Because I'm going to tell y'all the whole story. Since these niggas want to put up pieces, I'm about to put the paperwork in this link, and I'm going to tell y'all the whole story of the show, nigga. I'm a gangster, nigga. I ain't never told on a nigga in my life, nigga. Feel me? So, look. We rolling by the in and out, my nigga. I'm in the passenger seat. When I'm in the passenger seat, we see a nigga run and shoot a nigga in the back of the motherfucking head, my nigga. Worm said he knew the nigga. He's based on the fact that he knew the nigga. He wanted to help the nigga. So the nigga pulled up, my nigga, in the parking lot. While I'm in the, I told him, don't pull up, don't pull up in there, blood. I'm like, blood, nigga, that shit. Hey, he wasn't even from Hollywood Pyro at the time, I was right? Get a, hey, <laughs> you must have been over here reading my mind. So you yeah. didn't say blood. You definitely didn't say that. Yeah. You probably uh, said cuz, you know, pull over, but you definitely didn't say blood. Yeah. Know? Um, I think we get the point on that. There's one more thing that Snoopy Badass says that is really interesting. He says that he he bumped into Doster in court one day or in jail, right? Right. The guy that killed Worm. Right. And he said that Doster asked Snoopy Badass, can you help me in my case? Can you testify for me and say that, you know, that, you know, just to help me out. So that's his excuse of why he testified against Doster because Doster told him to testify against him. As I'm living my life, I catch my own attempted murder case. When I catch my own attempted murder case, the nigga, I'm at court one day, I bump into the nigga who did it. I don't even know who the fuck the nigga, what the nigga look like. When they said my name, he said, hey, you Banks? I said, yeah, he said, hey, that's me on that case. I said, huh? I said, oh, they got you? Nigga, I didn't even know they had the nigga. He said, look, I'm trying to get heat of passion because I found out y'all didn't do it. I thought y'all did it and I killed the nigga on accident. I'm looking at the nigga, I'm like, for real? I'm like, my nigga? I said, I'm pleading the fifth on that shit. He said, no, I need you to get up there and say I looked scared. Tell the story and say I looked scared. And they trying to say that I tried to kill you. So I need you to say that I didn't try to kill you and, and I looked scared. I'm already telling them I did it, my nigga. I'm trying to get heat of passion. I thought about it. I'm like, well, shit, if I'm getting up there to help the nigga, it shouldn't matter, right? Worst mistake I made. Don't ever do that. To, I'm telling y'all, don't ever do that to help no nigga, bro. I tried to help this nigga, bro. You can go look at the paperwork. I said he, he looked scared. And I also said he didn't try to kill me. He was acquitted of my attempted murder. He was acquitted of the attempted murder on me. He was acquitted of the attempted murder on me. Why? Because I told them he didn't try to kill me. I got on to stand to help, not hurt, my nigga. But mind you, he had already made statements prior to that. He made statements because he said Worm family wanted him to go give the tell the police something, you know, and he went and told him something, you know what I mean? And in that something, you had to say that after this guy jumped out, the, but whatever he did, he shot, he shot this guy, he shot the homie. Yeah. So then you go on to say you run into the guy in jail, you know, um, and the guy said, hey, it was an accident. I thought y'all was the ones dumping on the homie, so I killed your homie, you know. I need your help. You know what I mean? And the crazy part about it is he said it was an accident, and he was like, an accident? Damn. Well, all right, then. What, that makes it better? You know what I mean? You know, so anybody out there, Alex, that listen to this shit, you know what I mean? Besides, I guess, the dude who was who was talking, don't even realize, you, everybody realize what the fuck you saying, man. You know what I mean? Now, let me back up a little bit. <clears throat> Because a lot of people are saying, you know, the big issue out here now is, is he from Hollywood or wasn't he from Hollywood, you know? And I got two sides of, you know, I didn't talk to every Holly. I knew about this situation before it even got to the internet. You know, I was called because, you know, who I am from the east side. This is an east side situation. I was privy to the information about Snoopy Badass on certain levels of, of his involvement with the Hollywoods, you know what I mean? On one side, you know, some of the homies saying, well, he ain't from Hollywood, you know. The little homie met him outside, out there in San Bernardino, um, uh, out there in him at Marino Valley. Started letting him claim the hood, you know what I mean? And that's how he started running with the, you know, uh, claiming Hollywood. Once the little homie started letting him claim the hood, you know, he's kind of uh, uh, privy to being from Hollywood and saying he's from Hollywood. 
So that's where the Hollywood thing come out. He still claims Hollywood, even though he knows he's not welcomed over there. Now, on the flip side, you know, he sends a lot of people as hater and, and jealous and, 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 and these things. But at the same time, Alex, if you ever watch this dude whole get down, you could see it with some faultiness in it. Thanks for checking out this short clip of the Streets and Scholars podcast with Alex Alonso and FG. If you want to check out the entire episode, visit your favorite podcast platform. We could be found on Apple Podcasts, Google, Spotify, and iHeart. Just tap in on your cell phone, tablet, computer, or your favorite device and guaranteed to get at least an hour of this fire content. And thanks for checking out another episode of Streets and Scholars.